Well, well, well. It appears that I was lying because these guys have actually decided to do the away portion, as in the South Americans are now on uh, away situations. So welcome everybody. Uh, it, it does appear it was a false alarm. We are playing the second half of this and we will, we will be going live straight away as well. Going to be having a hunter, jockey, and charger for the initial setup. Hunter has spawned up on the billboard already, but yeah, he is noticed so quickly there. That's so unfortunate for the hunter. He was trying to be sneaky, but I mean, it didn't really work in, in his favor. And uh, well, the South Americans now on over 200 ping each, so they are going to be struggling here. Jockey and a charger with the spitter, so they're going to be completing the setup with a smoker. Smoker and Jockey looking like they want to go from behind. They're now choosing against it and are going to be repositioning. Smoker from behind, moving in with the Jockey. Smoker onto Nick is cleared very quickly. Charger moves in but is cleared again so quickly and Jockey is going to land for a brief period onto Coach, but I mean, he's going to meet his demise pretty soon after as well. Well played overall as they continue to move forward. And, uh, you know, like I say, Europeans, they're now on a home advantage, so... They're going to be in a much bigger advantage here. As we can see, the points are the same as last game. Currently at 3,276 and climbing. Uma from below can't really make anything happen. Smoker from behind is going to be pulling coach there, but cleared so efficiently. Hunter is moving in for Rochelle. Going to be pouncing up there, but cleared so efficiently again. These, uh, these clears are um, very, very good. We do have only a charger so far in the hands of the uh, South Americans, followed by a spitter and a tank, which is now just uh, spawned in the hands of you. <laughs> Rock is unsuccessful there. The survivors are in the swimming pool area. For the time being, anyway. Tank is looking to reposition here. Charger is moving in onto the jockeyed victim, and the spitter is going to follow shortly after. Nice rock there from the tank onto Ellis. That's exactly what they want. They want a little bit more of that. However, Tank is taking so much chip here. He's on 4,500 HP at the moment. Shotgun. Tank now on 4,364 HP. Still taking some chip. He is going to choose to move in on the survivors here. Going to be repositioning onto the, uh, the high ground there. But, I mean, really... He probably should look to go in here at this rate. Boomer gets a nice boom, actually, and the rock is unfortunately not able to land on Coach there. Coach did not see that rock coming. Smoker and a hunter up for the special infected. Tank is looking for these cars here. Survivors are very aware of this fact, though, and they are going to be making their way backwards. Going to be climbing up the, uh, the little hill here, just in front of the, the billboard, or behind the billboard, technically. Tank gets a hit onto the car, which is going to be on the hill. That's not really the best place for it to be, if I'm honest. Tank has no real choice but to reposition into the survivors, and he doesn't really have any cars to work with either. Pass number two, he's moving in. Hunter is already skeeted mid-air, though. Tank is looking for Ellis here. Ends up dying before he can get a single punch, though. And, uh, well, Zinyuk's actually dealing 47% of the damage there, which is 2,700 of it absolutely obliterated really so survivors continuing to make their way forward but i mean they really haven't taken much damage at all so if they're making it to the safe room with this sort of health bonus it's very questionable charger and a spitter with a boomer and hunter for the upcoming choke point which is going to be the drop down choke point boomer from behind can't actually get the boom the survivors are aware of it and charger is going to be cleared very easily plus a one shot skeet from frey there AKA Nick. And that is going to be all she wrote for the special infected. Survivors continuing to make their way forward. They're gonna drop down immediately down this hill. Reloading. Gonna be continuing in this uh, this little open area here. They still have the hill choke point to get past, but that's pretty much the only real concern they have at this moment in time. And a jockey charger and a smoker is going to be what they have to deal with. Boomer is shut down, so he's not much of a concern. 
Smoker moves in but is cleared. That's going to be a level charger. That's going to be a shutdown jockey. And that is all she wrote for the special infected as the survivors make their way into the safe room. And my goodness, this is a, a significant health bonus. Possibly one of the biggest I have ever seen, actually. Which is going to put them already into the 4,000 point range. 4,248 points here. So they're already 3,000 plus points ahead. Definitely not looking too um, too promising for the for the South Americans here. I do respect them, of course. I, I cannot help but um, but respect them for still going through with the with the second half of the game. Because I, I suppose I would probably do the same thing, really. Even if I was losing significantly, I'd still probably play the second half just because I still enjoy the game, really. Even if I'm even if it's uh, a loss, as long as you're with uh, with friends, then it's uh, it's a good experience, really. And you do actually learn more from losing than you do winning as well. So um, I suppose that's another mentality you have to go in with. You have to make sure that you, you understand that you are going to lose, but you're still going to learn something. You're going to learn valuable lessons. Hunter, Jockey and Charger all moving in. So nicely shut down, actually, on, on, the, uh, on the Hunter there as well as the jockey, and the charger couldn't quite get his spawn. That's going to force the spitter to move in and get rid of that life as well. Only a charger to uh, to speak of presently. But all in all, a decent shutdown to, uh, to start things off. Going to be waiting a following two seconds before the final spawn. We have a smoker, a hunter, and a charger. That is the tricap, and we have a boomer to complete this with. All four survivors moving in a complete unit here. They're not really separating very much. Very nice rocket boomer, though. Onto three survivors. Hunter moves in for the connection. Ends up getting the connection along with the uh, with the smoker. And the charger gets a separation charge into the distance. Uh, just, well, not really much of a distance, but still. That is three pummels. And, uh, well, they saved it from being four. However, that is, uh, that is significant damage inflicted onto the, uh, onto the survivors here. Survivors will continue to make their way forward. They're going to choose an aggressive stance here. They are going to move through the bridge straight away. Jockey moves in for Ellis in the back here. Ends up getting pinned as well. He is separated significantly from his survivor friends. Hunter is looking for the interception, which he does actually end up getting. Jockey is looking for the... I mean, uh, Boomer, excuse me, is looking for the spawn there. Gets a boom onto Nick, who is chasing down his, uh, his friend, Ellis. Coach looking for the clear there, but he's a bit too far away and is reloading. So they have to think really onwards and upwards here, but they are taking a bit of a beating here. Ellis has chosen to take another set of their pain pills. They're reduced down to two now. Charger, Hunter, and a Smoker. Charger moving in first, looking for the connection. He ends up on somebody's head, though, so he can't really make much happen. Smoker lands for a brief period onto Coach. Hunter moving in last, but not least, with the Spitter. However, the Hunter is shut down quite easily there. And that is all she wrote. However, I mean, the survivors are already in a slightly um, slightly worse position already than their predecessors here. All they can really hope for is gigantic health bonuses. That, that is the only real thing they can, they can do in this game to come back from it. They need to make sure that they, they maintain their permanent HP. Smoker below tries to get the pull down onto the alarm car. He can't quite get it. Jockey was trying to capitalize on Rochelle's positioning there. She was on the railing for a brief period. Smoker is going to pull Rochelle into the alarm car, though, followed by the charge, which glitches a moment on the car, but it's going to be a pummel, followed by a disconnection of the charger. However, he is killed as he is disconnected. But again, that is now Rochelle taking a lot of damage, and the tank is spawned while the survivors are completely surrounded by common infected here. Rochelle hasn't yet taken their pain pills. She could even go down here. She does eventually take them. However, Car is moving in. Incapacitating Coach here. Not looking good already for the survivors. Car is now moving in for Rochelle. And, well, both of them, actually. Smoker is going to be dead stop cleared, actually. Self-cleared by Rochelle. However, Coach is going to be dead pretty soon here. Yes, indeed, he is going to fall to uh, the wrath of the tank car there. Hunter is looking for that skybox pounce. He does actually get the connection onto the skybox. He's going to continue pouncing around for the time being. Won't be a 25, but it will be near that. 
if he does land this, of course, he is actually noticed. Charger moves in for Ellis, but misses the connection there. Survivors are down to three here. Hunter moving in for Ellis, can't quite get him. Khan moving in for Ellis, just barely missing him. Charger getting two scratches, followed by three, four. Getting four total scratches. Boomer is going to land onto Ellis, as well as Rochelle. Tank is going to get a punch, followed by the car, which could even be a, a double whammy. It is indeed a double whammy, and that's going to be Ellis, the last remaining survivor. Who's going to drop down into Common Infected. He's probably going to be chased down here. He actually avoids getting punched by the Common Infected. However, he's on the Humvee. Uh, he's down in one final punch, really. So it's looking like all she wrote for the uh, for the survivor side here. And he does indeed fall to the wrath of the tank. And that is uh, concluding the, uh, the first round here. 4,248 points versus 1,256. You gotta, you gotta respect them for still playing this. However, it is looking more and more as the game goes on, uh, like a pretty definitive win here, a pretty conclusive win at that. Have another game after this as well. Um, I don't know when we're actually going to get into that game though, because. Uh, we didn't actually expect these guys to play the uh, the second half, but um, obviously we'll do the best we can. Uh, we will try to get into the other game as quickly as we can after this one. Um, I'm still interested to see what happens in this game, but um, you can't really deny it. It is it is sort of looking like it's more so in favor of the uh, the win serial team. Going to be going live here as we have a. Uh, a boomer moving in first, getting the stumble. Charger moving in second, looking for a connection onto Ellis. Can't get it. Hunter will uh, secure the connection onto Ellis. However, not a heck of a lot of damage happening here. Survivors, other than Nick, haven't really taken too much damage, and they will be continuing to make their way forward on this uh, chapter number two of Dark Carnival. And we have a Spitter and a Boomer with a Charger and Jockey. So we do have a 2-2 and a pretty open area 2-2 as well. So Boomer moves in first, but he is shut down very efficiently by the survivors from behind that tent there. Reloading. Survivors at 17% of the map, and they do have the tank to, uh, to spawn, which is going to be pretty soon as well. We do have a uh, Charger, Jockey, and a Spitter that will be completed with a Kappa as well. That is going to be a Hunter rather than a Smoker. Although we are at 24% of the map and yeah, he just about spawns there, that's good. It appears it's been updated as well because it never was actually like that. It's wanted exactly 24%. There is some successful Spit delay as well as a Hunter moving in. He is completely shoved in the face though and will be shut down pretty soon, soon after. We now have an Evelyn tank who's going to be looking to throw some rocks, I presume, from the uh, from the high ground here, the rooftop. Throwing the first rock of the tank fight, which is shut down by stage. They're playing the uh, the arcade game here. <laughs> well, at least, um, at least Ellis and Nick are. Charger moves in, gets the connection onto Ellis. Boomer is uh, getting caught on the rooftop there, so can't quite make anything happen with it. And they're still playing that arcade game. Uh, the tank is continuing to throw some rocks. Nothing landed just yet, but there's not great distraction going on. <laughs> yeah, so they're um, having a bit of fun, I guess, on that arcade game. Tank is uh, moving the forklift in. going to be looking for a good hit here. It is slightly behind that wall though, so it could it could go either way really. Ends up not really going too badly, going to be looking for a second hit on the dumpster, um, throwing a rock for the time being. Reduced down to 4,879 HP. Smoker looks for the pull, can't quite get it, tank is moving in the dumpster as we speak. Smoker is unable to land anything though, Car a dumpster is moving in but it Almost bounce over, bounces over the fence there. First punch landed onto Coach here. Smoker is going to be landing onto Nick. Good interception as well by the Hunter, actually. That's going to be more punches landed by the tank. And uh, shortly, they're going to be meeting its demise. Ending up landing several punches, though, actually. So not the worst result in the world. 
but still, it is still a pretty favorable position for the uh, for the Europeans to be in in this uh, in this moment. Charger moves in by Rocket and is uh, unfortunately going to meet his demise there, but as do the Boomer and the uh, Spitter. Only a jockey to uh, to currently speak of. But uh, that Evelyn jockey is going to be waiting for the remainder of the spawns. Survivor's currently at 29% of the map, gradually climbing. There is a jockey. Actually, do you know what? There is a quad cap. Let's see if they end up pulling this off, because that could actually be favorable for them. That hunter, jockey, charger, and smoker. Just making their way down the slope here quite patiently. Charger is spawned up behind the corner. He's going to be focus fired so easily, though. However, that is a temporary tri cap. It didn't last very long, but it was still a tri cap nonetheless, and it did land and get some damage. However, how much damage can you really hope for with uh, people who who clear this fast? Going to be getting through this uh, alleyway as well. They don't actually have to worry about an attack here because the spawns are only just coming up. Survivors making their way into the closed area with the ammunition replenishment and medicine cabinets. Two people boomed on the ladder as well. going to be enough to delay them for the time being however they're going to probably look to go up as soon as this horde is cleared charger under jockey is what they have to contend with along with that boomer and spitter up moves ellis and rochelle both of them getting boomed charger is going to be getting a double charge actually a pretty decent one and unfortunately though oh so unfortunate the spitter ended up spitting below instead of above that oh that's unlucky And it's uh, just simply onwards and upwards for the survivors here. Nick is going to be consuming another set of uh, pain pills. They still have a medicine cabinet to explore, but it doesn't actually look like there are any pain pills in it. Just about reached 70% of the map here as the survivors looking fairly comfortable. Boomer from behind can't quite get the boom and will be popped pretty efficiently. Smoker, hunter, and a charger is what the special infected have. Now, I presume they are going to be waiting for the fourth and final spawn here. Four more seconds to go, and we will be completing the uh, the setup. Which is going to be a jockey, so they do end up getting another quad cap, and this time during a crescendo. Let's just hope they, uh, they send the charger in at the right time, though, because the chargers usually go in a bit too early. Haven't sent it in just yet. They are looking for their positions. Charger moving in from ground level. Hunter is going to be skeeted mid-air, though. That's so efficient. Charger is unable to make a connection and will be focus-fired before he can even land so much as a punch. 60 common infected remaining, but the survivors aren't really looking in, uh, in too much of a struggle here as they make it into the safe room. Probably going to go above 5,000 points here, actually. And they shut the door and end up at exactly 5,200 points. Meanwhile, the, uh, the South Americans trailing behind at 1,256 here. So, I mean, they have not only the ping disadvantage, but also the disadvantage of being so far behind. So, Credit is given where credit is due, and they are definitely respectable for continuing to play this match regardless of how, uh, how the points are going. We are going to be seeing the same setup as before, that being the, uh, the charger with the smoker. And, uh, well, the boomer actually fell off the roof there, so he couldn't really make anything happen. It is going to get a quad boom inside the safe room, though. I don't think they're going to attack in the safe room, though. They're probably going to hope that they can get a fourth and final spawn before the survivors leave the safe room. Which actually is looking fairly likely. No, no. 
Morgan moves the charger. Smoker is going to be landing, followed by the charger. However, I mean, the spitter did actually get that spawn, but isn't really going to make much happen with it. Will be shortly losing her life, and survivors are going to continue moving forward. Survivors now at 13% of the map, and they have, well, about 10% more to go, and they will be dealing with the tank. They could be dealing with another attack before the tank, though, depending on how aggressive the uh, Europeans are feeling. Jockey, Smoker, and a Charger is going to be the tricap completed with a Boomer. Jockey spawning up, as well as the Boomer. Boomer gonna get a Boomer onto one, Smoker is gonna land. Charger looking for some separation. Ends up somehow landing onto Coach there. As well as a Pummel, followed by another. Could even be a third one. It is indeed a third Pummel before he loses his life. So, that is uh, definitely not who the... Uh, <laughs> definitely not who the Charger intended to land on. But he ended up landing, landing on him anyway. Tank is now going to be spawning up in the hands of Snipe, the Russian tank, as he makes his way towards the survivors. Hunter, Jockey, and a Smoker is what the Special Infected have to support the tank. Hunter and Jockey both moving in. That's going to be a 12 damage bounce off the back of the Jockey. Smoker moving in as well onto Ellis. Dumpster is, uh, is moving in precariously as well. Depending on how he hits it here is, uh, well, I mean, that's straight back to where it was, actually, so that's unfortunate for the tank. Still trying his luck though, and he most likely will be able to offer this hit, uh, get it into the survivors. And indeed, he is succeeding. So in moves the dumpster. The dumpster is actually in play now, and they have a charger, hunter, and a boomer. Charger is moving in, getting a scratch, and the rock actually, nobody knew that was coming. That nearly landed onto uh, one of the survivors there. Nick just barely actually skeeting that one as well. Tank just continuing to throw some rocks from the uh, from the distance here. No luck just yet. There is a boomer from behind, uh, getting a boom onto two survivors. Wait, am I saying dumpster? Sorry, forklift. Yeah, it's a forklift. Excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. Tank is moving in the uh, the forklift, looking to get an incap. He can't quite get anybody though, and that is completely out of play. He's going to have to avoid that entirely. He's going to be pinning Nick here. Smoker onto Rochelle as well. That's going to be an in-cap by punches by the tank. He's going to be moving onto the rooftop with 5,000 HP as well. That is a very good um, HP margin. And landing a rock onto Rochelle. Separation jockey as well. Landing onto Coach, followed by the interception hunter, who ends up falling. That is going to be the tank looking to get the sport lift in here. Revival onto Coach is successful. Charger is going to land straight onto Coach after he's revived, though. That is uh, pretty <laughs> pretty rude, actually. Tank is looking for the dumpster. He, he, uh, why am I calling it dumpster? Uh, forklift. He's looking for the forklift. Can't quite make anything happen with it, though. Still on over 3,000 HP, so he's still in a good health, really, all things considered. Just continuing to throw some rocks over the forklift. That rock actually just skimmed past, uh, past Rochelle. Boomer moves in, gets a boom onto two survivors, which is going to provide distraction for the forklift, which is going to in-cap Coach there. Very well played by the tank. He's going to look to move the forklift um, back into play onto Rochelle, who is just barely dodging it there, but will be ending up incapacitated. That is going to be the end of the road for the South Americans here, as they are wiped, securing themselves 1,337... No, 1,374 points... However, uh, yeah, indeed, Snipe is wipe. That is all she wrote. 5,200 points in the hands of the very dominant European squad right now. Now moving on to the, uh, the most unforgiving map that, uh, that we know of on Dark Carnival. Definitely the worst of them all. For the survivors, anyway. For the, for the infected, it's quite good. You know, it's enjoyable. That gosh darn roller coaster. Really takes you for a ride. Huh, huh, huh.
Just waiting on one more person to uh, to ready up here, and we shall indeed be going live. Europeans, as a result of their lead, are going to be playing Survivor first. Uh, Takador is going to be playing the tank as well. Spitter moves in first, just simply to get rid of the spawn. Uh, they don't really want the Spitter, it appears. They would rather a, uh, a boomer, it looks like. And that is going to be replaced in six seconds. I mean, it could technically be a quad cap as well, but um, more than likely it's going to be a boomer. It usually is. Yeah, it is indeed a boomer. Let's see how they pull off this boomer-based tri-cap. Charger looking like he's wanting to go from behind here. Jockey from in front, boomer from in front. Jockey spawning up first and foremost, Smoker from behind, and Charger from behind is cleared so effectively though, everything is just completely wiped out there. And there we have it. Survivors continuing to make their way forward, Tank is at 32%, so it's not too far away actually, as Survivors are currently at 20%. Going to be doing that, uh, that little generator trick jump there. Over the uh, over the railing, Hunter is completely obliterated in that room, though skeeted by those shotgun pellets. Charger, Smoker, and a Spitter in the hands of the Special Infected. They actually haven't ended up triggering the tank here. They're probably going to have to jump down here. This is actually this is an interesting tank spawn, to be honest. And uh, considering they are actually at thirty-two percent, it probably probably should have spawned really. But but there we have it. Looking like they are going to have to drop down here, which honestly is a very risky tank fight. It's very, very hard to uh, survive. And they do indeed drop down. That is going to be the spitter moving in with the charger, but they can't actually get the combination. But as we can see, the survivors have absolutely no choice but to take, take the tank in this tunnel of love, which... Um, if they do survive it, it is going to be impressive. Three seconds remaining for the Special Infected to get their final spawns. Which is going to be a Jockey Smoker and a Hunter. Tank making his way in for the survivors, the Takador Tank. Looking to pin the survivors here, hasn't landed a punch just yet. Ends up landing a punch onto Rochelle, who is immediately following, <laughs> following that, uh, pinned by a Jockey. Tank is continuing to punch, however, to be honest, the survivors are in a good position here, and they do end up killing the tank, so, well, my goodness, the uh, special infected stood no chance there. And the tank is eventually falling to his demise, without even so much as a single in-cap being inflicted. Needless to say, the survivors still have to endure the... Uh, the upcoming roller coaster. Rocket boom from behind onto, two, onto one survivor. I thought there was going to be two there, actually. Ellis cleverly positioned there, blocking the uh, blocking the roof spawn. That is going to be a hunter, charger, and a spitter. However, the hunter is looking to move in here, which he does indeed do so, landing onto Ellis, followed by the spit combination. So that's going to be some damage at the very least. They have a jockey and a charger, and... In eight seconds for both of them, the, the two dead people are going to be getting their spawns. Let's just see how they can pull this off, though. They are going to be looking to probably distract with the jockey and send the charger in after. There is also a smoker to use. Jockey moves in first, charger second. However, he is going to be leveled by the frying pan there. And that is going to be the smoker looking to separate somebody, but he can't do it. Survivors have actually successfully uh, traversed a very, a very significant choke point there. And they shall be continuing their onslaught through the map here. I'm going to be looking to actually survive the, uh, survive this map, which is uh, really, really odd. This, uh, this roller coaster choke point is pretty lethal. Hunter Smoker and a Jockey. Smoker from behind can't actually get the separation pull. Smoker and uh, Jockey and Hunter, all which going in. 16 damage pounds followed by a Spit. The Spit isn't really in time though, unfortunately. 
And uh, there's some damage, mostly from the 16 damage pounce, really. Ellis just running behind the survivors. He is a little bit more separated than the rest. However, not much of a concern for them. Survivors now at 92% of the map. Charger dropping down, looking for the separation. Again, though, getting leveled. And, uh, well, the Hunter shortly meeting his demise as well. Boomer from below getting a boom onto two survivors. However, that's really all they have uh, as we speak. I mean, they're honestly looking like they're going to make it into the safe room here, securing themselves a very comfortable health bonus again on the most unforgiving map of Dark Carnival as well. Just outside the safe room is uh, Ellis. He is actually going to be delayed by the spit. However, the charger is going to really quickly die there. Smoker is going to pull Ellis outside. However, they have the angle right. They do end up getting the clear. Hunter looking for the wall kick, ends up moving in, but he is uh, ragdolled into into the skies. And there we go. Putting themselves at 6,436 points, which... Ouch. I mean, I suppose the most effective word to use is ouch, because that is... Uh, that is relentless. Considering the map, they have just survived as well. Ouch. South American's going to be repositioning now onto the survivor side. Going to be showing what they are made of on the survivor side. I mean, in terms of how the math works, there is absolutely no, no likelihood of a comeback, really, at all. And uh, you know, I, I'm optimistic, but I'm also, I'm also realistic. And uh, yeah, we we ain't going to see a comeback here, ladies and gentlemen. There's only this chapter, uh, this half of this chapter, and then the final chapter, uh, chapter four. So it ain't looking too good. Spitter, jockey, charger, and a smoker in the hands of the special infected as they make their way down the uh, the little slope here. Charger moves in with the jockey, looking for Coach there, actually, they do, they do land onto Coach as well, plus a pull into the spit, and the jockey's moving in as well, ouch, that is uh, a lot of damage onto Coach there, that is a very good Charger, and uh, that is a very good combination, that's exactly what you want from a charge spit combination. Since Left 4 Dead 2 does largely revolve around the, uh, the charge spit combination, there's obviously a lot more to the game than that, but, uh, you know, you can't really deny the prominence of it. Boomer by proxy onto two survivors. Hunter's going to land, however, the spitter isn't able to synchronize with everybody. Smoker is up as well, but he can't really make much happen as well. So, the entirety of the attack ends up being shut down, but my goodness, Coach has taken a beating here, and they still have the, uh, still have the tank as well. Thank you, Sierra, by the way, for the, uh, for the support. Very much appreciate it. Charger, Boomer, Jockey, and a Hunter is what they have. The European Special Infected. Boomer actually gets caught in the doorframe there, and, uh, well, the grace period is a second, like I say, so ends up not getting the boom uh, too successfully. They do actually have to drop down for this tank as well. Uh, they have no real choice in the matter. And I presume the tank is going to be quite aggressive as well. Coach dropping down first and foremost, followed by the remainder. However, they're both on top. Hunter is going to pin two people on top as well. That's a Charger and a Hunter, both ripping apart the two survivors on top. Tank is going to be moving in as well, and I really don't see them surviving this, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot clear their friends up top. And Rochelle is the only remaining survivor. She's getting punched in the face. And, uh, well, there you have it. She is going to end up being wiped here. Tank is throwing a rock. He's just kind of delaying this a little bit. But there you have it. 201 points in total. And my goodness. That is... Uh, that is that. 6,436 points in the hands of the uh, the Europeans. 1,575 points in the hands of the South Americans. This is going to be the fourth and final chapter. We are just about uh, surpassing... 10 p.m. as well, at least where I am. 
I know everybody else is going to be different, uh, but at least that's when the match was going to start. So one more um, one more chapter, and then we shall be immediately transitioning on to the, uh, the other game that we have in, in line. Despite the uh, the unfortunate one-sidedness, hopefully everybody has still enjoyed coming along anyway. Uh, we do obviously have more to offer as well. We do have the uh, the game following this one. <laughs> In bed, yeah. I'll bring my I'll bring my microphone over to the uh, little bedside cabinet that I have. Get myself under the covers, and I'll just uh, I'll commentate from my bed. <laughs> Just waiting for one person per team. Uh, one more South American, and we shall be going live in the final chapter here. I mean, it, it's pretty conclusive, to be honest. We know who the winner is. Um, most of us, most of us know who the winner is going to be here. Jockey Charger, Smoker, and a Boomer is what the tricap is going to be as the survivors leave the safe room. Smoker first, ending up getting shut down very quickly though, as is the Jockey. Charger looking for Rochelle in the safe room, but those railings are not a, a Charger's best friend, and the Boomer is shut down as well. So, pretty much a textbook perfect shutdown. Laptop in bed. Yeah, I, I imagine. Um, to be honest, with all the uh, the quarantine, it's probably a, a wise tactic, really. Tank is going to be looking to move in the uh, the dumpster, getting one massive hit on that, and that's going to be trailing down to the survivors. He has uh, two more dumpsters to use here. One of which is directly on the rooftop, and the other one is going to be trailing in and. Oh, actually, Ellis, if he was a little bit further to his left, that actually would have hit him. Tank is going to be throwing some rocks from above, as well as that. Well, that dumpster is nowhere to be seen. That is completely out of play. Bouncing off the sign there. Hunter, Smoker, and a Jockey is what the Special Infected have here. Tank is going to be dropping down, looking for Ellis first and foremost, misses the first punch, going to be going for the dumpster instead, which is actually right next to Ellis, but not quite landing onto him. Dumpster can't quite land onto Nick as well, that's so unfortunate. Continuing with the dumpsters, however, he can't really make anything happen, and is choosing actually to retreat here. Followed by moving straight back in, trying to catch the survivors off guard with the dumpster, however, well, he's going to go down there, and I mean, the survivors are on such good HP here. So there we have it. It's, I mean, honestly, I, I would probably make mistakes as well, to be honest, if I was behind by this much. It's, it's not really too surprising. Charger ends up charging into the dumpster there, unfortunately for him. Can't quite get the connection, nor can he get the spit combination. Oh, don't confuse me. No, it's a no. That's a dumpster. No, I'm not. I'm not going to get confused by this. <laughs> Boomer and Smoker in the hands of the special infected. Three more seconds for the remainder. Boomer gets popped so nicely, though. That's going to be a hunter, Smoker, and a jockey, which I presume they're not going to send in here. I, I doubt they're going to. They're going to want to see what happens there. Final spawn coming up in uh, three seconds. So you guys are arguing over the dumpsters and forklifts. Nice. It is actually a quad cap, so let's see how much success they have with it. Charger, hunter, smoker, and a jockey. Survivors now choosing to drop down in unison. I wonder if the Special Infected will attack during the Crescendo. I imagine they probably will, because that will be their best hope to land it. Crescendo has been triggered. 
so the quad cap is uh, probably looking to go in pretty soon. Hunter pouncing around, in moves everybody, Charger is going to be looking for the connection, can't get it though, Hunter and Jockey get the jewel cap, but unfortunately the Hunter ended up stealing the smoked victim, and uh, smoked victim is going to be cleared there, and that is all she wrote from the quad cap, and survivors on absolutely perfect HP here. So my goodness, if they make it into the safe room with this kind of health bonus, they could even be looking at like 8000 range, really. Nick is a little bit behind, but no capitalization on it, so there's going to be a boom onto one survivor. Spitter, Charger, and a Jockey. Charger spawning up above the survivors. Good spawn, actually. That's going to be a charge spit combination. I do like that position, actually. That was very unexpected. That's going to be some damage onto Nick. However, they do have four sets of pain pills, and nobody needs to take them as well, so... And in they move, not quite getting uh, getting 8,000, but, you know, 7,812 points here in the hands of Win Serial, the European squad. This is going to be the final half of this chapter as well. Which is going to be finalized with the, uh, the South Americans playing their final survivor round. And Win Serial playing their final infected round as well. Comeback time, yeah, exactly. Just waiting on one player per uh, per team, and we shall be going live. I suppose actually we're not too far ab um, above the uh, the time, really. Uh, I think we can probably get in at a reasonable time to the uh, to the second game. But obviously, massive respect has to be given, though, to the to the South Americans for uh, for coming along and playing both halves. I do respect them. I just heard myself for some reason there, and that really frightened me. <laughs> Jockey Charger and a Smoker with the Boomer. However, the Boomer does get shut down, though. I think he was trying to copy the uh, South American strategy there. Going to be a Jockey moving in, stealing the Smoker victim, and Charger is not successful either. However, he does get two scratches, three is getting multiple scratches, actually, and uh, my goodness, that damage is, uh, is interesting. Reloading. So far, we only have a, uh, a hunter in the hands of the Europeans. Tank is going to be spawning pretty soon here, does indeed spawn just now. Hunter gets a scratch, followed by his uh, most likely death, although he hasn't died just yet. He does end up getting a pounce somehow as well, so there we have it. Tank is looking for these dumpsters here, and first one is going to be on the rooftop. Second is going to be tried on right now. And he gets the hit onto it, which is traveling in for the survivors. Could even land onto Rochelle. It just barely misses her. I have to say, that would have been pretty, uh, pretty hype. Tank is looking to throw some rocks here from the rooftop. Going to be repositioning the uh, the dumpster with the rock, actually. Continuing to throw some rocks from the high ground onto Coach, who uh, actually ends up dodging the rock. No luck so far from the rocks. Tank is probably going to have to move in soon on pass number two. <laughs> Smoker landing onto Rochelle there. However, the tongue is in plain sight and will be shot and cleared immediately. Dumpster bouncing off of the forklift. And what? The forklift? The skybox. Why did I call the skybox a forklift? I am losing my mind, clearly. Tank is looking to move these dumpsters in here. Getting a first hit onto, onto Nick. Just unfortunately can't make it happen, though. Nick is going to be getting up from the charger there. Punch actually landing onto Rochelle, followed by Nick here. Nick is going to be meeting his incapacitation here, and uh, Tank is going to be looking for the uh, for the dumpster. Nice help by the smoker there, allowing for the second incap from the dumpster. 
going to be curve rocking round the corner there onto coach landing it onto him actually that's so unfortunate for him dumpster is going to be moving out of play and the tank is going to be repositioning onto the roof pass number two trying to land that rock onto, onto ellis no luck though jockey is moving in just simply keeping those two in capped guys down and they are so close to death as well Smoker is going to the delay the get-up and, uh, well, guarantee the death of Nick, at least. Rochelle is probably going to die shortly after, really. In moves the dumpster, just barely missing Ellis. That's so unfortunate. Tank is going to be looking to get back onto the roof. However, he is being chased. Charger is going to land outside, though. Jockey is looking for the interception. Moving in for uh, Coach, and he does end up landing. That is most likely GG. That is going to be the GG called. So thank you, everybody, for uh, for tuning in. Um, we aren't leaving though because we are actually going straight into another game, uh, so I imagine, yeah, we're, we're just going to go straight into that really.